What is going on everybody? It's Stabs here. Welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. Today we're going to be doing the opposite of the one sensitivity challenge. We're going to be going to 14, which is obviously the max in Black Ops 3. I thought it was 20. I guess not. But um, I'm just going to hop into a quick team death match. And I will see you guys in a couple seconds when the game actually starts. Alright, so we actually got Combine, which is pretty funny because I played the uh, one sensitivity challenge, I'm pretty sure, on this map. So, um, it's actually really, what the fuck? I'm gonna end up, like, having to shoot myself after this. What is, I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. How am I supposed to aim like this? Yeah, this is, what the hell? How many, I wanna see something, hang on. One second, leave the challenge. Oh. Okay, I actually got my first kill. Uh, I'm up in the air right now. What the fuck? Count how many? Somebody please count. And there's a shotgun. Somebody please count how many circles I just did. Oh my god, I cannot aim. I probably shouldn't be using a fast rate fire weapon like the uh, Vesper. And there's gonna be somebody camping in here. There's somebody always is. And never mind, I'm actually gonna keep this out. Um, I was gonna say I should probably use like an M8 or something, but this is a pretty decent sized map for SMGs. And hopefully those two kids aren't playing, so I can just keep trying to spawn kill them the whole game. Hopefully there's nobody here. Push this out. Oh, dear God. Every kill I'm getting right now is just 100% luck. I don't know how people play on a sensitivity higher than like 10. I'm actually about to get some streaks, hey boy. Oh my god. Even when you get stunned, you still have like a one sensitivity. Alright. Let's call this sight and let's see. If I actually can't move the thumbstick too much or this thing's just gonna go flying. So, uh, like, right now, I'm barely, barely, barely moving the thumbstick. Like, when I say barely, like, it's nowhere near to where it can actually go to, like, fully. And, uh, this is usually, like, the sensitivity I actually play on. Oh, my God. What the hell just happened? If you actually, if you, tr if you play on this and try and turn on somebody, oh, um, you are going to have zero luck. I don't know how people can play on a sensitivity this high. If you do, I mean, I'm just going to say congratulations to you because I don't, I don't know how you could do this. Obviously, you probably get used to it after a while, but I don't know how or why anybody would want to actually play on this, unless they're like a trick shot or something, which I kind of understand, but if you're like a pro player or something, you're going to stay under like four or five, actually. If I win that, uh, my shot was actually a little shaky there. That wasn't the sensitivity's fault. But right, let's hop into here, and of course, there's always somebody camp in there. I'm trying to make a challenge, and you're camping in there. I don't know if that was a... Oh, boy. Oh, okay. So, this is actually the second time uh, recording this video, because... Um, I was having some, like, mic issues the first time, and I didn't realize it until I finished the video. And, um, I'm actually doing a lot better. So I'm actually glad that I actually play this again. Turned out for the best. But, I mean, especially since there isn't really, like, a, like, sign toughness. I know it's not really nothing major, but with a high uh, sensitivity like this, you need... Like, zero flinch. And especially since I'm using the Vesper. Um, how am I getting the kills? How am I killing these guys right now? Hang on. Okay, I was going to say. But uh, since I am using a Vesper, it has a lot of... Oh, shit. Yeah, I probably should have just ran away. It has a lot of recoil. And there's somebody in that room. And it's really bad for trying to keep your accuracy and this kid just dipped 
Yes, yeah, so you see, I'm basically just trying to use the gun's like ability and damage and stuff like that, and just try and basically melt them if they get close. Because if I if I miss a couple shots, I'm gonna try and like align myself, which just happened right there, and uh, it's not gonna look good. Oh God. It looks, I don't I wonder if how crazy it actually looks on video cuz this thing is like like what the hell is this how, I don't know how I'm like losing my mind over here this is, oh, that's an annihilator I'm the 100 percent this is going to screw up my accuracy oh boy all right I was dead either way but let's see I got my sight we're actually losing right now Oh wow, I thought it went up to a hundred or something. That's a hard to fail. Alright. Well, there you have it. That's how you play with a uh, 14 sensitivity on Black Ops 3. There isn't really much to it. You just kind of got to get lucky with your kills like I did basically in this video with mostly every single one of my kills. Especially with the two pieces. But well, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to out, subscribe. Follow my social media links down in the description below. Again, this is the second time that I recorded this. I did do a lot worse the first time. I guess kind of now that I got the hang of it, it turned out better. I went like 14 and something like that. But thanks for watching. Let's see if we get 10 likes on this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.